Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to take you through a very quick step-by-step -step video of how I do my hair almost every single morning. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I do like to switch up my hairstyle. Um, I've had several of them in the past three or four years. But the primary one, of course, has always been this one. I recently got a cut actually today for this video um, back to how I always used to have it. Um, the classic short at the side, short in the back, and then a little bit longer at the top, but not too long. So, without further ado, let's get right into it with step number one. Now I've already taken the liberty to take a shower and a towel dried my hair, so now right now it's nice and damp and ready to begin styling. Today I'm gonna to be using some of my favorite crema products, both their sea salt texture as well as their thickening wax to um, really give my hair some life. So I'm actually gonna start out with the sea salt texture while my hair is nice and damp. It's not completely wet, not completely dry. And we're just gonna apply some right now. I've been using these products for a long time. They're barber grade, they're super easy to use. Um, and I really like the texture that they give, at least in my hair. So the sea salt in particular really just adds a lot of grit to my hair, which you know I don't typically have. My hair, I've talked about it before, but it's very, um, it's very fine, it's very painfully straight. So anything that I can put in my hair to give it a little bit more oomph, a little bit more life. I usually will do, and sea salt is a really great option for that. All right, you'll notice when I blow dry my hair that I'll literally take my hand like this and I'll press it down on this forward part of the hair just to give it that wave. Because when you apply heat, your hair is a bit more malleable. And again, I want to really give it that quaff in the front. So by doing this, by applying heat, it allows it to stay with that curve just a little bit better up in front. Now you'll see that I've kind of given, just by using my hand and applying a little bit of heat from the blow dryer, a little bit of like a wave up front. So now this might seem a little bit counterintuitive, especially since I just told you guys that I have such straight hair, but I actually use just a teeny little straightener um, just to give a little bit of bend in the front of my hair uh, to give it a bit more flow. So I'll just take this, I've already heated it, and I'll take it from this side, going this way. And I'll slowly kind of pull it down. that maybe a few more times. And then part of the goal here too is kind of to like cover up this. Like I don't like how far back this goes, how far back my hairline goes. So kind of like cover that up a little bit. And finally I'll do this piece here. This one really just kind of goes back. All right, now obviously that looks really crazy and like way too curled I guess for lack of a better word. So you kind of have to just like shake it out like this. All right, next I use this Cremo Thickening Paste, um, which I really, really like because it provides a lot of hold, but it's also, um, it, 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 it feels nice to touch, right? Like hair should still have a little bit of flexibility to it um, while also having some hold to it, which this certainly does. So I'll take a little bit like this, I'll rub it on my hand, put it together, and then I'll just kind of make it a little bit more malleable and just give it a bit more definition, a bit more texture and smooth out any parts that I'm still not fond of. I know you guys are gonna laugh at me at this one, but this is a totally honest video. I'll take <laughs> the remainder of what I have on my, on my fingers, and I'll actually <laughs> use it to sort of shape my eyebrows a little bit. So it's kind of, not like a lot, right? I just will kind of go up on my eyebrows, just kind of give my eyes a little bit, a little bit of a lift, you know, give my, make my face a little bit brighter. And depending on what time of day it is, I'll either use a matte or a shine finish. This one happens to be a matte finish, which I like during the daytime, and then at nighttime, sometimes I'll go for a shine. And then, as a final step, just to catch any flyaway, I'll just apply a little bit of hairspray. All right, make sure like that little receding part is covered. What do you think? How's it look? Voila! And the final product. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful in some way. If it was, let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know if you vary in any way or can relate in any way to these steps. And um, yeah, subscribe to my channel for any Sam related updates. Leave me a thumbs up and share this video with anyone else you think might find it useful. With that, I'll check out for the day. Ciao. Nos vemos.